what's up? It's Armani White, aka Big Blanco, and I'm with Sound Exchange, and this is Sound Advice. Because music can make me feel things, you know, in my body that uh, words can't. I would describe my music as happy hood music. Uh, it's the genre and the sound and the feeling of someone who grew up in the hood, someone who grew up in a dangerous environment, but still found a way to like, you know, be happy, still found a way to come out on the other side. And someone who had a rough life and had a rough uh, upbringing, but utilizes all of those like really harsh hardships to be like, this is a reason why I deserve to be happy. You know what I mean, so that's kind of like what the how I describe the music, but. That shit just loud. Uh, <laughs> it's just loud, fun, hype music. Like it's just me putting my personality on record. Last nine months have been painful. Uh, <laughs> nah, you got like it's it's fun. It's fun, but you can't like um like you don't sleep. You know, and like a lot, and a lot of the moments that happen, it's not really like it's not like yo, here's this big moment you got to prepare for. It. It's like here's a long list of big moments, and you got to show up for every single one of them, and you mentally prepare yourself at once for like the next seven things. So that's tour, that's Jimmy Kimmel, that's Jimmy Fallon, that's the BET Awards, that's the Europe, the, the EMAs, the European Music Awards, that's the 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 Indian traveling, that's like going, you know, it's everything you got to just show up and be prepared for. So, um. For me, like, I don't know, like, I, I've been waiting for this moment my entire life, so, like, I had no problem showing up, being there, but, like, you know, you got, you have some things that, like, that live and suffer as opportunity costs, and that's, like, I, like, I moved out of my apartment in June, and I didn't have anywhere to live, <laughs> like, I was just living out of storage units for the past, like, however many months until it got to a point where people noticed me at a storage unit, couldn't do that no more, so I just got a new crib uh, a month ago, but I've only been there for two days, uh, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, yeah, it's just, like, certain things, like, the real life it takes a hit but at the same time you get to live this cool ass life that not that many other people get to experience it's have fun like don't overthink it don't like because a lot of times we go in and we have a set like I, I look at my performances like theater you know so uh my my show is like from start to finish just like it's a performance we know this cue goes to that this we say this this song starts like everything is like it's theater um but sometimes we'll hiccup, we'll mess up, and we get down on ourselves about it. Person in the crowd has no idea what the hell was supposed to happen, when it was supposed to happen, or what's not happening right now. So, you know, I just say like, yo, you gotta roll with the punches. A drummer told me that, um, and if you if you listen to a drummer, you'll hear it. They said drummers mess up 80 to 90 percent of their set. Like their entire set is them just messing up and trying to get it right back, get it back, get it back on pace, and like, and it ends up turning into what they call a fill. Like you know, they go like like, but it's them be like, I was trying to just stay in pocket and I fucked up. So don't worry about the fuck ups. Just like you know, roll with the punches, keep it going, just have fun out there. Listen, don't send the record out all the way done like fix it if they come back and kill you on it because like my like it's so me and this and this was my dog but like um i had you know i had this record goaded which was like the verses were super short it was like originally we made it for a sync um we made it for a sync for space jam and it didn't get end up getting picked so we released it but um denzel did a verse twice as long as mine and he was like going crazy on it and i'm like what the f hey yo like, so uh, my advice is yo murder every feature that you do ever from the smallest ones to the biggest one i got a couple more coming out that's like yo we're gonna get some money together but i got a couple more coming out that's gonna be crazy but every one of them i walked on them my dog walked them but uh because it's just like you know you gotta like a feature is just an opportunity to like really showcase yourself to a whole new group of people who like may or may not already be fucking with you they may or may not even know you exist so like you just had the opportunity to just be like yeah i like this guy but like who's the person they just introduced me to you know that's how I look at features. And I dog walk every one of them now. I'm getting my revenge, I'm getting my revenge for what Denzel did. <laughs> if you um get an email from Sound Exchange, answer it. Because I didn't <laughs> I thought I thought that it was a um I thought it was a spam message. And I think they was telling me I don't know if they told me that I was gonna lose the money if I ain't answer it for a while. So, is that a thing you can lose the money? Yeah, okay, so they definitely told me that. They was like, yeah, Yo, you're gonna lose the money. I'm like, nah, listen, I got ASCAP already. It's taken care of. And it was like, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. This is completely different. So I'm like, man, let me just sign up. I ain't doing nothing. Like, and I signed up and I got like, you know, I got a little, it was like a quick bag. It was like two or $3,000. I'm like, 
wait, 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 I just signed up, you just gave me that, like, I didn't, you know, but I didn't, I didn't understand what Sound Exchange was, how it existed, how it coexisted with everything else I was doing in music at the time, I had a record that was performing really well on, uh, uh on XM Radio and Sirius, um, so, that was like my first little bag. Now that you know, they it's another zero or two on there, but but like I remember that bag where I got like that two three thousand dollars, and I was like, wait a second, hold on, hold on, y'all just was holding this for me. So yeah, uh, now Sound Exchange has been very very essential. At the time, it was it was keeping me afloat. Like it was like pandemic time. Okay. <laughs>